What's going on contenders? I want to show you how to move with your defense. Now, this is very essential in boxing. If you don't know how to move your feet with your defense, you basically become a punching bag for your opponent. No matter how good your defense is, unless you have like the most amazing head movement in the world, you will be stationary and your opponent could just lay shots on you until either you're done or you decide to get out of there. So working footwork with defense is one of the most essential components to offsetting your opponent's offense. Also, it makes it almost impossible for your opponent to create an angle on you. You always see videos, someone creating an angle and their opponent is just standing still like this. If you learn to move, the range will always be a little bit too far, unless you're against the ropes. If you're against the ropes, they can do it. But if you're not against the ropes and you're working footwork with defense and they try to create an angle, it's very easy to offset that angle because they'll be way out of range. You'll be able to see it coming from a mile away. So I'm gonna show you the drill first and then I'm gonna show you how that drill applies to the most common basic attacks. The one, two, the one, two, three, the one, three, the two, three, the three, two, the one, three, two, all of it. Footwork and hands together so you can have the best chance of defending all of those attacks. All right, let's get into it. All right, here's the drill, you guys. Same side block, same side step. Like here, watch. Block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. Now look, I can move anywhere. All right, I can move anywhere with this drill. This is to coordinate your hands and the feet. The beauty of this drill is it allows me to move with my defense in almost any direction. Someone is attacking me and I want to create an angle to the right, I can drift off. Somebody's attacking me, I want to create space, I can go back and then I can start to drift to the left. Each of these blocks is blocking the punch. I can go back and then drift to the right. I can even go forward, go back, go forward. I can move sideways, anywhere, okay? Once I get this down, not only can I conserve energy with my defense, but I can create space and make it harder for my opponent to get to me and create an angle on me as well. Okay, let's break down how it applies to the most common attacks. Here's the one, two. Boom, okay, you see me stepping in. Boom, boom, all right? Now the defense for this is here. Catch, my back foot goes back, catch, block. I match my opponent, I match exactly what they do. Catch, block, catch, block. Now let's say the opponent goes one, two, three, here. Jab, cross, hook, whether they step on that or not. Jab, cross, hook, or Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Here I go on this side, watch. Catch, block, block. Now how much I step with this foot depends on how much space I need. I don't even have to step, I can just pivot. Catch, block. I can stay right here, block. Or if I need more space, boom. Or if I wanna really get out this way, catch, block. See? And now I'm already on my way out that way. Let me show you from back here. Catch, block. Boom, block, block the lead hook. This way I'm moving back. Even if I want to go out to the left, I can also work here. Catch, block, here. And now look, I faded away this way, away from that left hand by moving the feet this way. Watch, catch, block, here. Catch, block. Okay, so see, those subtle changes, <laughs> I'm creating angles with my defense. Forget about the opponent creating angles on me. I'm creating angles with the defense. All right, let's get into some more complicated ones. Opponent goes cross, lead hook. Here, they step with it. Cross, lead hook. Here, cross, lead hook. They gain some ground on me. Now, this is where you can do multiple things different ways. So try not to think of boxing as right or wrong. Sometimes there are more ways to do the same thing. So watch, opponent throws the right hand at me. Well, I can do two things. I can step back with the back leg and block. That's one. Here, block. Opponent throws the right hand lead hook. Block, block. I can do that. I can do the opposite of the drill. It's perfectly fine. Here, block, block. All right, so you need to be a little bit versatile, not always the same way. But I can also work that same side here, like this. Front leg steps back, right? I can do whatever I want. Right, left, right, left. The drill makes it easier to synchronize those together. Opponent throws the right hand, boom. I step here, block. Boom, boom, and I can keep going. Or opponent throws the right hand, I go here, because maybe I want to counter. Here, boom, and I block. 
So this way, you can work the one you're used to, but if you feel more comfortable with moving the back leg first, that's also an option for you. Now the opponent leads in with the lead hook right hand. This is a tough one to deal with because what the opponent is actually doing is kind of guiding you in this way to the right hand, kind of setting you back there. Here, boom, boom. They're kind of walking you into the right hand by giving you this, almost giving you nowhere to go. And if they're long range, sometimes it's really hard as well. Opponent comes in, boom, boom. All right, so you also want to create space on that as well. Okay, so here's how you do it. Watch, I step back, back, back. Look, like so. If I want to get away from the right hand, I fade back this way, watch. I fade, see my foot? Here, watch, boom, okay, boom. This is kind of advanced stuff, subtle stuff that you're not just gonna pick up. Instead of this, here, boom. Now I've drifted off to the right, away from the right hand. Here, watch, block. Look at this, I'm on an angle here. Bam, counter right hand. I created the angle with defense. If you want, again, you can also go this way, out to your left. Here, I turn the body more, all right? And then if I wanna get out this way, if that's what I wanna do. See here, block, block. And it all comes from that drill, working the hands and feet together. All right, a few more. These are also a little bit different because they involve half steps and half beats. Jab, hook, cross, one, three, two. Opponent goes here, one, three, two. Bam, boom, boom. Dun, 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 okay? They're doubling up on that same side. Jab, hook, cross, and then setting me up. Okay, so that means I need two types of defense on the same side, and they may be advancing on me. So it looks like this. Block, I can use both feet. Block, pivot. Catch, pivot. See, I catch the jab, here. And then I pivot, if I wanna go fast. Catch, pivot. Block the right hand. Here, catch, pivot. Catch, pivot, block. That's how I put all three together to block the one, three, two. Now, I don't even have to pivot that foot if I don't want to. I can go here and just turn the body. As you get better with defense, your motions get smaller. It's not like this. You will just make little shoulder rolls, little motions with the upper body. But that's generally how you start to get the real feel for it. Catch, pivot. See both feet, catch, pivot, block. Catch, pivot, block, and then I can keep going out if I want. All right, you guys, this is more lesson style. This stuff is essential to intermediate to advanced boxing. If you can't move your feet with your defense, you're gonna become a heavy bag for anybody who can move, anybody who can move better than you. This way, you create distance when the opponent attacks. You're able to create angles of your own, set up better counterattacks and almost make it impossible for an opponent to create an angle on you, at least a meaningful angle, because even if they create an angle and they're way out there, easy to see that coming. It's basically almost just like you restarted again. So this kind of thing is really essential to your boxing, and it all starts with working that drill and getting the foundation down. There are exceptions and ways that you can break from it, so it's worth it to practice those too, and then you can go and work on the specific combos so you can deal with each one. All right, you guys, make sure to practice this stuff and check out precisionstriking.com. I got instructionals there to teach you to box from the ground up. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.